Right guys, you've been asking for it. League One Predictions is coming out now. We're with Dog Dad, of course we are. He's got the gear on. We are about to get a flight up somewhere later. Now, we're not gonna tell you where, but we wanted to do as much as we can, so we're getting a video out for you today. We're gonna go alphabetical order. Where have you got AFC Wimbledon? AFC Wimbledon, one of the smallest grounds in the league. Um, they were 20th last season, 20th again. They just avoided relegation by goal difference, not yeah. even any points, yeah. goal difference, and not enough quality signings. 21st, relegation. Ooh, that's Went a big call. That's very close though. But just before we move on, we're gonna be doing follow back sprees from the League One fans that follow us on Instagram, Thog Dad, Thog Dun. We'll see you over there, we'll be following back. Accrued and standing in the next team, where have you got them? Well, I'll tell you what, they've got jo John Coleman, the manager, has been there five years, so they've got mm. some stability. Yeah. They've signed Joe Pritchard, haven't they? What do you think of him? Well, we don't know much of him. He's only played two games for Bowl and he was okay. I think you're gonna struggle. I've got you 19th. Funnily enough, I've got him 19th as well, actually. No I've way. got them 19th. And uh, wow. the only reason I'm not putting them in the relegation place is I'm sure Billy Key will score enough goals to keep them up. Yeah. Third team, we're going to talk about Blackpool. Chase Bearing's club, Mark Howard's club. These are Bolton players that have recently played for us. Where have you got them? Great Lancashire club. They mm. came 10th last year. They've got a new manager, Simon Grayson. Yeah. Who's at Ooh. Preston, who was at Huddersfield, who was at Leeds. Yeah. And this man knows how to get teams promoted. Mm. I'm predicting a good, good season for Blackpool. You're going to be fourth. Fourth! That's a massive jump up from where they were before. Yes. Blackpool last season finished 10th. You think they're going to jump up six places? I disagree. I think they'll jump up two places. I'm going to put them in eighth. Okay. Fourth team. This brings us on to the interesting one. It's the shirt I'm wearing. It's the football club that I've been through a lot recently, Bolton Wanderers. Okay. We're in administration currently. It looks like we're about to be taken over, but no one really knows. We've not signed a single player. We've lost a lot of our quality players. Where the hell is this team going to end in League One? I've supported Bolton for 44 years. Last season was the worst ever. We've got no players, Yeah. we've got no money, we've got no owners, we've got no kit. I think we're gonna be 23rd. No! You I'm actually sorry. reckon we're gonna go down? We've got a 12 point deduction. Football's a beautiful game and it's all about hope. Every fan has this thing called hope. Going to a football match, it's all about hope. And that's what Bolton fans have. And it's one thing I've got. I'm gonna put them in 20th, which avoids wow. the drop. And oh. the reason I'm doing that is that little yeah. bit of hope that the takeover will happen soon. We'll sign some good players. Like I said, football's a beautiful game and it's all about that thing right there. You know, the crest, yeah. the love for the club. And therefore, you may think it's biased, you know, I don't care. I'm putting them 20th. I've got that little wow. bit in me that might think we might just survive. And I so hope that you're right. Bolton Wanderers is, feels like my family. Yeah. So please, Football Ventures, the new owners, hopefully get your feet under the desk and sort it out. Sort it out. Bristol Rovers. <laughs> I need to take a lie down. I know, I know. <laughs> yeah. They've signed someone called Mark Little from they Bolton have. Wanderers. Good luck to him. He was actually really good for Bolton. Yeah. Um, Hopefully you'll be paid now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and good luck to Bristol Rovers. Bristol Rovers were 15th last season. They're going to be 13th this Funnily season. Funnily enough, I put them 13th no as well. Way. We have to no shake way. it. You know how we'll it goes. Shake on that, yeah. I'm going to stop you right there. What's the light goal for today's video? Ooh, do you know what? 3,450. That's a big statement, Dad, for a League One video. I know, I Let's know. Let's see how good you guys are, the League One fans. 3,450. I can't even say it. It's that <laughs> precise. But when Dog Dad says to like it, you've got to do it. Burton Albion. You go out at the train station and you can smell the beer. Oh, yeah, you've got to love the it. Home of beer, yeah, that's the beer. Carling Brewery, and there are some brilliant pubs in that town. They have a very good home record, and they have a very good manager in yeah. Nigel Clough, yeah. who had a very famous dad in Brian Clough. Mm. As anyone my generation knows, ninth last season, ninth this season. That's funny. Ninth last season, ninth this oh, season. Gonna... Once again, once this again, is... this is mental. Berry. Now this oh. is the second team that got a minus four point deduction. They haven't signed any players. They're actually in a worse position of Bolton because they can't even play their first game of the season. It's cancelled. I have no choice but to put Barry 24. I have family links with Barry. My great granddad, Herbert Swan, mm. played for Barry, centre forward. My heart goes out to Barry Football Club. Mm. You're going to be 24. And that brings us on to another club that's been mismanaged late years, Coventry City. Oh, my goodness. See, it just, it just keep, we just keep going with these teams, don't we? There is so much money in the Premiership. Yeah. There is so little money at this level. You know what pisses me off? Boss, you said this. Those those football fans you support United, Liverpool, you know, and they're like an Arsenal who are like old oh, Cronky out, United yeah. Glazers out. Shut up! You're signing 75 million players. We can't even sign a free transfer for God's sake. Yeah. We don't know if we'll be a club tomorrow. And you're signing Wamba Saka for over 50 million. Don't tell me 
who the hell should leave their club. You are stable owners, but because you're not a Man City, you want new owners. Think about the Boltons, the Berries, the Commentary Cities, down at the bottom, who get nothing and might be liquidated tomorrow. You don't even know if we'll be a club. But I think that's for a separate video. It really pisses me off yeah. to the core. Commentary are a massive club. They are. I and I remember seeing them go from League 2 promotion at Wembley. It meant so much to the fans just yeah. to see them go up from League 2. It was 1987. They won the FA Cup. Exactly. They were in the top tier. Eighth. Well, they lost Connor Chaplin, but they did sign some good youngsters from yeah. like Arsenal and, and even a I West Ham under 23 called Josh Pass. You know what? I'm going to put them seventh, Dad. Doncaster Rovers. Now, this is a team that did pretty well last year, you know, but didn't do that well in the playoffs. What lets them down is their away record. Right. They got 27 points away from home, 46 at home. They were sixth last season. I think they'll slip a bit this season. Okay. Tenth. I put them actual sixth. They were sixth last year. I'm going to put them sixth again. Okay. I think Ben Sheaf was a good loan from yeah. Arsenal. Fleetwood Town. I mean, they've got a crazy gaffer. <laughs> the enigmatic Joey Barton. He, he got. He's, he's been in trouble for like punching people and stuff. <laughs> Barnsley manager got a, a right hook from him in the in the tunnel. Um, that Chet okay. Evans is their striker who's been linked with Bolton. It's a different one to call for me. But you know what? I'm going to put Fleetwood Town twelfth. They were 11th last season. This season, hold your hand out, they're going to be 12th. Once again, we've agreed, this is like the fourth time we've agreed on the video already. This is mad. We don't talk about this before the video, so this is crazy. I think Thogden's got a spy. He's got a Bielsa spy. I do. I mean, I've got the... I've got that. I, I do the dance. You know what? Let's, let's do it, Dad. Let's do it. No, I can't do it. You do, do it. Let's do the dance. Let's do the dance. What's the dance? This is me. When you're, when you're doing it, I was doing this, Dad. <laughs> 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 Nothing against Leeds, I just had to do it because it was funny. Right, funny. Gillingham, 13th last season. This season you'll be 15th. I've got Gillingham, 18th. You know why? Losing Tom Eaves. Yes. He scored yes, yes. like something like 21 goals last year. So important. Yeah. You lose him, you don't replace him good enough, and you drop down. They won't go down. And also, let's not forget last season, Dad. Yeah. They only survived by five points. Ipswich Town, a team that got relegated, came 24th, even with Bolton's rubbish season last year. However, they did look exciting with some youth players. When they played Bolton at the end of last season, they were playing exciting football. Yes. They beat us. They had yes. lots of youth. They were hungry. These are the sort of players you want in League One. I can see them doing well, Dad. Yes. When I watched that game, I was like, this is a team that is going to be impressive next year. I put Ipswich Town third place. Ipswich Town third? Yes. Wow, that's a big shout. This season, Ipswich will finish... Third. No! <laughs> do I need to stand up and do the Bielsa again? No, I'm kidding. Yeah, well, no. we'll do it. We'll do it. I'm That's joking. enough dancing okay. for one day. Let's move on to Lincoln City, a team that got oh. promoted from League Two. Yeah. Um, they, they look good. They yes. did very well last year. I'll tell you what I like about Lincoln, their manager. Ooh. It's Danny Cowley, isn't it? I think they're going to surprise a lot of people this yep. season. I've got Lincoln in seventh place. Ooh, so just avoiding just playoffs. missing. You're being the mean playoffs. there, Dad. You, you're saying they're doing well, but they won't even get to the playoffs. And I put them 10th. I think Payne from Huddersfield was a decent signing. MK Dons, another team that got promoted from League 2. How do you think they'll do? I think they'll comfortably survive in 14th. 14th? I put them 17th. They lost Ch Chucks and AK to Charlton. He was a beast. But they signed Joe Mason. You know Joe Mason. Joe Mason. 17th, 14th, you get the gist. Oxford United. I'm impressed by Oxford because they've signed Sam Allardyce. I'm more impressed by Oxford United because they've signed Ben Woodburn. Yeah. So ben Woodburn from Liverpool. How good is that signing? He was at Sheffield United last year. Now he's going to drop down a league. Unreal signing. Fair yeah. play. But Oxford, they've got a good home record. Last season were 12. This season they'll be comfortably mid-table 11th. No, no, no. no. What are you shaking hands again? No, 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 no. You're doing the dance. You're doing the no, dance. No, no, no. <laughs> He's been spying on me. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 no yeah. that's a joke. That's a joke. 11. There's no way. 11. 11. All right, yeah. Peterborough. The last season got more points away from home than at home. No. They've got a good manager in Darren Ferguson, son of Sir Alex Ferguson. Three years ago, probably the best centre-back in the league, Mark Beavers from Bolton Wanderers. Quality centre-back. And can I just go into a little bit more detail about their transfers? Um, they signed Boyd from Sheffield Wednesday, a very hard player, good in the championship. Unreal in League One, okay? And one final signing, Mo Aisa from yeah. Bristol City. Yes. Holy moly. <laughs> Peterborough, fourth place. Last season you were seventh, this season you're gonna be sixth. Oh, Dad, you got. I thought you'd agree with me on that one, to be fair. <laughs> Portsmouth didn't get through to the playoff final, they lost in the semis. I feel even worse for them because they've recently just lost Jason Lowe. 
their best winger. Um, and that, that is one of the reasons why I've got them in second place and not winning the league because yeah. Jason Lowe's a massive loss. But you've got to remember, Dad, they won the Checker Trade trophy last year and they were very unlucky. They got a good team. And you know what? I'm putting Pittman to be the golden boot next year. Ooh. I think he's I think he's a striker. Yeah, sure. Bad goals. Good yeah. luck to them. I think Portsmouth just lost Matt Clark, didn't they? They did. Um, to Brighton. Three and a half million. And he's going to take you from fourth this season to second. No! You're going to be runners up. No way! There's no way you've done that, Dad. Because I've done it too. Oh my goodness. Rochdale. Last season, Rochdale was 16th, but they had the worst goal difference, minus 33 in the league. I'm worried for Rochdale. I think you're going to get relegated in 22nd place. <laughs> no, you're lying. I'm not. 22nd. You're lying. You are lying. <laughs> 22nd as well. Oh no, this is stupid. So in the last two years, they've yeah. survived by four points and the year before one point. I think they're going to go and, wow. and drop down this year. But let's move on to Rotherham United. Rotherham lost Volks and Ajayi um, yeah. to like West Brom. I wish them the best of luck. I've got them fifth place. But it's their best players. Where, so it's, where did you yeah. put Rotherham? You put them fifth? Yeah. Well, I'm actually going to disagree with you hugely because I think they're going to be fifth. Oh my goodness, this is a joke. <laughs> yeah. I'm actually going to have to do it. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could say this is set up. But it's just not. This is moving on to Shrewsbury. Where you got Shrewsbury? I mean, for me, I think Shrewsbury did all right last season. They signed Donald Love and yeah. the grey-haired Millwall legend Morrison. Yes. Um, uh, solid signings. I put them 15th place. 17 players have left the club. No way. You put them 15th. I put them 16th. All right. Well, so we yeah, don't have to. We, we don't have to shake hands. We don't have to shake hands. South End United. They only just survived on the last game of the season last year. Yeah. I think this time. They're gonna drop down, I'm sorry. They haven't made quality signings, 23rd place. And you Whoa. can't agree with me on that. You put Bolton there. I think you'll survive, 17th. Sunderland. Now, Sunderland have left quite late here. Um, and obviously, you know I put Portsmouth in second. Yeah. So I think it's quite obvious to you guys. Sunderland are first. Yes. I went for it. Of course yes. I went for it. Yes. Decent signings. Unlucky not to go up last year. Um, they've signed Burge, McLaughlin, McNulty, and some, they've got a solid squad. You've got to yes. remember that. I was at the League One playoff final, see who goes up to the championship. I think yes. Sunderland played really well that game. Unlucky. But this time, you've got McGeady as well for another year. First place. Sunderland are a massive club. They're such a big club, and they deserve yeah. to be at least back in the championship. Yeah. But right now, they're just on a little League One party. They'll yeah. be back where they belong in the Premier League soon. Sunderland yeah. will win the league. Yeah, Sunderland win the league. You'll probably smash us on Boxing Day. Tranmere. Tranmere only won six games away from home. Wow. They came sixth in Division Two. They're a scrappy team. Yeah. Don't underestimate Tranmere. And we're playing them in two weeks' time. We are. And we're going to go. And we're, we're, we're going to go. We're getting tickets. Yeah, hopefully. Um, I'm sure there'll be a, Tranmere away. I'm sure there'll be a wonderful atmosphere. <laughs> And I tell It'll you what, be tasty. There is a wonderful pie shop yes. near the ground. So if there's any Tramia fans want to meet up with us, any nice Tramia fans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it's not me. I thought you were waiting with yeah, no. you were ready for scrappers. No, no, no. Any Tramia fans yeah. want it? I'm gonna oh, do God. I'm gonna do a beer review. So yeah. if any Tramia fans, maybe my generation, yeah. want to have a nice beer, a couple of pints with Thog Dad, we'll interview you. Thog Dad beer review in Tramia. Yeah. Um, get DM me. Write to us on Instagram, Thogged and Thog Dad. We'll be following back to I think Tramia will finish 18th. I've got them 16th. And we've been Tramia away before, haven't we, Dad? In the cup. Yes. And the funniest thing about yes. it is they beat us. Yeah. At Tramia 2013, I was yeah. at the game with Dog Dad in yeah. the away end. It was a cold, wet, <laughs> yeah. middle, you know, middle of the week night. Yeah. And we went there to Prenton Park yeah. and we saw a 1-1 draw and then to end up losing on penalties 4-2. Wickham Wanderers. Final two. And also the first team we're going to be playing yeah. in a couple days and we have no players. <laughs> so, thog, here's a here's a, a thog dad fact. The longest serving manager in this division is Gareth Ainsworth. Ooh. He's in his seventh year. You gotta love it. So Gareth Ainsworth. That's stability. Down the lane. Yeah. I think you might be twenty first. I think 21st. you might be just relegated. I'm sorry, Dad. I don't know what you're on about. They made some really cracking signing. David Wheeler from QPR and a couple other QPR players. Yeah. Onya Dimmer, um, who previously played for, I think he was a good winger, previously played for Millwall, if I'm correct. I'm putting them 14th mid table. <sighs> okay. I, I wish the best of luck to them. We've now complete all 24 teams, and I want to hear what you guys say in the comments. Which four teams are going down? Which three teams are going up? Follow us on Instagram, we'll be following back the League One legends who come over from this video. 3,450. 3,450, very precise, but Thog Dad's gone for it. And Thog Dad, when he says it, you do it. Simple <laughs> as that. We're about to go on holiday somewhere, but where? I'm not, you guys are going to have to work out in the comments. We're going to miss the Wiccan game, but we're going to be at Tramere away. Thank you for watching this video from me and Thog Dad. See ya.
Bye, guys.